Christian Talk Show. And here at Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show, we are real people who live real lives and talk real talk. Amen. Yeah. And we know that Jesus Christ is the head of our life here at Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show. Amen. Amen. And we are truly committed because of the love of God through his son, Jesus, that we be disciples who work to develop disciples who will go forth advancing the kingdom of God. So we truly ask that you continue to pray for us that we go forth as God has called us to do. Amen. 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 And so today we have a special guest, Pastor Melva Henderson. Amen. <laughs> Right, because I had a stuttering problem, but I just love this mighty woman of God. I'm talking about she is the bomb.com, really and we know it's not her, we know it's God in her. So, Pastor Amen. Melva Henderson is uh, married to Pastor Irvin um, Henderson, who's her husband, and they have a they pastor World Outreach Bible Training Center located in Glendale, Wisconsin. And um, she is the president of Melvin Henderson Ministry, which is a global outreach Amen. with a vision to serve Amen. others. Amen. And that is what she does. Amen. Amen. Melvin Henderson nationally is internationally as a human humanitarian and is a, a dynamic teacher. That other word she had on her bio, <laughs> bio I cannot <laughs> say. <laughs> And I'm serious. She did. Oh. I was stuttering. Okay. Melvin Henderson is the host of Discipling the Nations and International Radio Broadcast. She has been featured guest on ooh, The Believer's Voice of Victory with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. Amen. Amen. And the host of uh, Pastor of Praise the Lord, aired by Trinity Broadcast Network. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And she is the author of the daily devotional Fresh Baked Manna, which has generated popularity through various uh, social media streams. Melvin H Pastor Melvin Henderson is a 1992 graduate of Rima Bible College and, the, and is a wife, a mother of five, and is a grandmother of two. Amen. 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 Let's Amen. welcome Amen. Pastor Melvin Henderson. Amen. Amen. I just... <laughs> I have to, I just want to say that I am truly as excited as um, Shauna for you to be here. I truly um, love your word, love your ministry, love how God gives you everything and you yes. just pour it out and pour it out and pour yes. it out. We are truly honored that um, you would be here with us on this day. So God bless you. Thank you, Tim. Amen. It's an honor to be here. It really is. This place is cracking. Amen. This is great. <laughs> Really, this is exciting. You know, yeah. usually when you go into a place, you have to set the atmosphere, and it's awesome to be able to walk in a place where you can feel the presence of God Amen. as tangible. Yeah. So, Amen. thank you so Hallelujah. much for inviting Amen. me. Thank I'm honored you. to be here. And you know what? We are honored to have you. When I tell you, Amen. I love waiting. you because when talk, let me, I gotta be real, y'all. Real talk. <laughs> I was going through some things, and you and your husband did a series on forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you, I was thrown to the floor. My back broke. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. You minister. God used you Amen. to minister that it changed my life. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I just want you to know that. So I'm going to be quiet so you can go ahead. Well, Amen. you know, I, I like it when we talk together. Amen. Is that okay? Yes, um, I love talking together. Yeah, Amen. I like that. <laughs> Over here, you know, but no, I really, I do like um, how we talk together and how we um, be able. But I truly do, um, not in awe, but truly, like I want to hear what 
what you have for us today. You know, I just want to hear that word because we come here sincerely mm -hmm. trusting God and saying, God, that you would use us right here in front of this camera, right here in the studio yes. audience. So praise be to him that yes. what someone is watching or someone is hearing will change their life. I understand. Amen. I understand because you only have a moment in time to make an impact. Amen. So I do understand Amen. wanting to touch people's lives. But, you know, my story is... It's a long story, but, you know, we don't have time to get into a lot of things. And my husband and I, he tells his, his testimony about uh, having at one time in our lives being addicted to pornography. <laughs> And um, it's a it's a problem in the in the body of Christ. Amen. And um, he shares his testimony about uh, having been addicted at one time in our marriage in the early days of our marriage. Now we've been married 18 years now. We've been together 25 years. But it's we started on a very rocky road, and I didn't know that he had an addiction. I didn't know that he had the problem. But the Lord just began to deal with me with things that were going on in his life and different things that he was doing. And one night I got up in the middle of the night and he was uh, on the computer and I walked down the stairs and heard him power the whole computer down and I stood at the top of the stairs and I said, Lord, what is this? And the thing about walking in a place of forgiveness, you cannot walk in forgiveness if you don't walk with God. Amen. It's an absolute impossibility and a lot of people, we put so much focus on the forgiveness when really our focus needs to be on God's Amen. love. Amen. And if you, you put your eyes on the love of God, forgiveness is a byproduct. It's the fruit of the love of God. Amen. And so I, uh, you know, so I just began to pray and I asked the Lord, what am I, what do I do with this? Now that was in September of one year. And then in, uh, you know, January of the following year, I finally said something to him about it. So I went from September until January, not saying anything because in my heart, the Spirit of God said to me, don't say wow. anything. Okay. And so during this whole time, I'm dealing with my hurt mm -hmm. with what's going on in his life. But at the same time, the Lord is, is endeavoring to teach me okay. the way of love. And so we overcame that. But, you know, I, the way I tell it sometimes is my husband was in a, a negative ditch. And because I refused to walk in love with him, I got over into a positive ditch. But both of us were in a ditch. Right. And God wanted us to get out. And so he, he came to me. The Spirit of God came to me and said, how will he get out if you don't get Come out of your now. ditch Amen. and help him out? Amen. Amen. And so... You know, with the love of God, you know, through tears and all of that. And I tell the story sometimes I walked over to his ditch and looked over and kicked dirt in it. And the Lord would arrest my heart and say to me, that's not the way right. to love. And so God taught me through those experiences how to love my husband. And, Amen. you know, I can stand flat footed and say today that there's nothing that our marriage that has hit our marriage. Come on now that I can't overcome. Amen. 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 Nothing. You, you know, um, on my way, Good right there. on my way out here, I was sharing with my husband. I said that um, we're going to have Pastor Melva Henderson. And I said, but I was telling him about um, how you shared your struggle and how you just mentioned the, the struggle of in the early years of your marriage. And I was sharing that with my, my husband and I was saying to him, I said, you know, nothing, there is nothing, because we'll be married three years in December, but there's nothing that should come against and rattle our foundation, yes. you know? So one of my things and one of my prayers is that he went, he and I would know God more today than we did yesterday. But in order to do that, we have to seek after that. Yeah. You know, sometimes we get so, in, I mean, in our marriage, we get so driven in so many different ways. My thing with, with my husband, I said, babe, we got to bring it back. Mm -hmm. We got to, we got to get on this foundation because see, stuff is going to come. Absolutely. I don't care what it is, storms, trials, rains, whatever, they're always going to come. Absolutely. But when we're strong in our foundation, Absolutely. we're going to make it through. You know, yeah. Ephesians, the sixth chapter, the Bible talks about Ephesians, the sixth chapter. He's talking of telling us to put on the whole armor of God. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we want to just jump on the armor and grab the armor and go to putting the armor on. But what we miss is the scriptures that came before Ephesians, right. the sixth chapter. Right, right. <clears throat> Excuse me. In there, he tells you in chapter five and chapter four. Mm -hmm. 
He talks to you about loving your children and your relationship with your children. He talks to you about your relationship with your husband. He talks to you about every relationship that you will encounter in life. And then in chapter 6, therefore, put on the whole armor of God. Amen. And we don't realize that the armor is to help us live out and walk out relationships. Amen. We don't see that. We think we fight in demon spirits and all of that. And there is an element of truth to that. It's the spirit that influences the people that we're in relationship with. Amen. But I'm not attacking the person that I'm in relationship with. I'm loving that person. And as a result of the love of God, it disarms anything that the enemy could do in our Amen. lives. Amen. And so. And you know what, Pastor? Pastor Melvin Henderson, that right there, I'm gonna do what the audience said. That is good because we can sometimes we can be so deep in in church, you know. Oh my God, I just love the Lord and the woo woo woo. And we, like you said, we forget. We just act like. And I'm talking about myself because believe it or not, I have done that. Have you? Yeah. 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 And sometimes I still do that, and I have to check myself right. and be like, you know what? That's not the spirit of God. That's not the spirit of love. Love helps us to be able to forgive. Right. Yeah. You know, in in uh, one of the devotionals in the book, my daughter, she's 31 years old now. My, my daughter came to me one day when I was yes, 31. <laughs> Young girl. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> But you know, my daughter came to me and she's 31 and she walked in the kitchen one day and she said to me, she said, mom, do you know that unforgiveness is not a word? I said, yes it is. She said, no it's not. I said, yes it is. She said, no it's not. She wow. came back with a dictionary. We couldn't find the word in the dictionary. Oh, wow. And I said to her, I said, surely this word is in the word of God. Hmm. Went through the word of God, could not find the word unforgiveness in the oh, word wow. of God. Wow. It's a word that we use and it doesn't, doesn't even, even exist. exist. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. And so I said to her, I said, isn't it amazing That's that strong. It does not even exist yet. We're fighting and struggling wow. not to live, to live free from it. Wow. The only thing that you'll find in the word of God is forgive, forgiving, forgiven, but you'll never see unforgiveness. Oh, wow. I did not know that. No, you'll never see it wow. in there. You and know, as you said that, right? I said, well, I'm going to go and look that up. Look it see, up. It up. <laughs> <laughs> see if I can find that, right? So as I was um, looking it up, truly, no, unforgiveness is not a word. It's unforgiving. Unforgiving is Unforgiving, in there. but true to that, no, you will not find it in the Merriam-Webster. So if, the, if, if Daniel Webster doesn't want you walking in it, yes. the word of the God, God doesn't <laughs> want you walking in it. Amen. How can we feel free Amen. to walk in any form Amen. of what we call unforgiveness? Amen. And it's like I said when we first started out, when I made love my focus, it was easy to forgive. I just made love my focus. And you know, the Bible says the reason that we don't forgive a lot of times is because of fear. Mm -hmm. We're afraid you're going to do this to me again, so I'm not going, I'm not going to give you that opportunity. And so the base of unforgiveness or what we call unforgiveness is fear. But then there's a verse of scripture that says perfect love will cast out fear. And so what we have to learn to do by the word of God is to overcome fear through the spirit of love. Amen. Amen. Let me just tell you. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. We're going to talk after this show. <laughs> I'm saying because, you know what, that was been one of my biggest things. Like when, um, because every man I've been with had cheated on me. And so that has been one of my biggest things, like ever really giving my full heart or whatever. Because in the back of my mind, I always took past relationships that I had to the, to the new one. Mm -hmm. Because that lack of fear, thinking like, oh man, if they do it to me again, it's going to be on and popping. So I didn't want to, you know. I understand. I mean, be, it's I understand. Job said, you know, the, the Bible talks about Job and how Job would go and offer these sacrifices for his kids because his grown kids, he was afraid that his grown kids were going to curse God. Yeah. 
and then something happened. Mm -hmm. His kids got attacked. Right. But Job said out of his own mouth, the thing I greatly fear yeah, he did. has come on me, and that which I was afraid of has taken hold of me. So what fear does is the thing that you're fearing, fear opens the door for the devil to come in and bring the thing that you're fearing Amen. to pass in your life. Amen. And so that's why, you know, you're afraid to love John and so you walk in fear with John, yeah. so then John does just what you feared that he would do because you keep opening that door in your life. And so what we have to learn to do is, is stand flat foot in the face of fear and say, I'm going to love because Romans 5, 5 says the love of God has been shed abroad in my heart by the Holy Ghost. You can't stop me from loving. Amen. You can't beat me loving you. Amen. I'm going Amen. to love you no matter what you might do in my life. And that's the position that I had to take with my husband many, Same. many days, I'm telling you. many times of disappointment. But I chose to. It was a choice. Amen. It's not a feeling. Amen. When you make a, I made a decision to love you, on, and I'm committed, and I'm in it to win it. We're going all That's the way to I'm the talking. end. Amen. I don't care. I don't care what your struggle is. Amen. If I walk with him, and what I learned is that when I walked in a place with my husband that he could see that no matter what his struggle was, no matter how ugly it was to my vision, mm -hmm. When he could see that I was willing to walk with him Amen. no matter how ugly he was to me, he knew that he could trust me with his life. Amen. And when a man knows that they, that, that they can trust you Amen. with their life, they're not going to have a problem. Amen. Hey, you know, she's going to have to come back. Amen. Um, I just, you know. <laughs> I, I'm as, not playing with you now. Can you, wait, you know, as, um, as you were saying about your husband and when you said I'm going to love you anyway you know I know what it looks like I know what it feels like but my love for you is greater than what you're going through mm -hmm. you know um, as my husband and I um, we have a blended marriage so we had a lot of grown kids right mm -hmm. and grown kids are a problem in a blended marriage I just want to let y'all know it sometime. can be <laughs> you know I don't mean it like that but I want to tell you that I had to tell my husband that no you and I, I love you and everything else that the kids are going through, we go through that thing together, but no, they will not overtake this right here. Right. So I, when, I, when I tell you, it, it, it's a struggle where we have to say, oh, we have to stop, you know, and, and recognize that it's you and I in this. Right. And yes, there were things I had to love him through and I kept saying, Okay, you know, but I love you. And God said that we're going to be together and we're together until the end of time. I mean, we're together for eternity, you and I. And yes, there were tears and yes, there will continue to be tears. But you know what? My love is strong for you. And it I have seen where we've broken down some um, walls and, and crushed down some barriers with our children. Where today we didn't all gather, um, at one time we didn't all gather, but to now we can all gather. And whatever animosities there were have all been cast down, so that's true. You know what, what we call it uh, is in our relationship is taking one for the team. You know, sometimes things will happen and I have to just, you know, I have to put my big girl pants on and uh, I have to just, all right, you did this, I feel like I've been treated unjustly, but I'm going to take this one for the team. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the way that you have to, you have to you be do. that way even when it yeah. comes to your children. I'm going to take yeah. this one for the team. Yeah. So okay. somebody's going to have to be the bigger one and somebody's going to have to step in and say, yeah. all right, I know I didn't do anything wrong here, but, be, but for the sake of love, Amen. for the sake of keeping my family that's together, good. I'm willing to do whatever Amen. I need to do. And Amen. you know what, Pastor? Um, Melva, you just really ministered in ways you 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 don't really, even know for yeah. real. Amen. And we had a question for you. I had a question, but you answered it, so I, I don't even need to <laughs> I don't even need to ask it. And I, I just I just thank and praise God for having you on the show because really just your presence and and the knowledge that God has given you, it, it just spoke volumes. And it I know did. I'm sitting here. Overwhelmed, yeah. You know what I mean? Real. I have to do it because I be strong to it. And so I know people in the audience is just minister to as well. Amen. But we're gonna go and we're gonna do a little shift. Okay. Um, for those who do not know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, you can know Him today. If you want to experience this forgiveness, this love that. 
Pastor Melvin Henderson was talking about, you can only do it through Jesus Christ. Amen. You cannot do it by yourself. Amen. So if you will come with me and repeat after me with a pure heart. Amen. Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. Amen. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, yes. that you have risen again, and that you yes. are sitting at the right hand of the Father right now. Yes. Lord Jesus, I ask that you would come into my heart. Teach me this love that, that Pastor Melvin Henderson was talking about. Yes. Help me, God. I can't do this walk without you. I surrender my will to you, Lord Hallelujah, Jesus. God. And thank you for coming into my heart. Amen. And if you have prayed this prayer, Amen. in Jesus' name, Amen. you are now saved. And we Amen. welcome you. Amen. We welcome you. We do welcome you. That me. means clap to Amen. Me. Amen. And to the family of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And we thank you. Um, thank you for tuning in and again as we welcome you into the family we pray and ask that you find a bible teaching church we ask that you get with those um, in the church those seasoned brothers and sisters to help you along um, in your journey also give us a call on our prayer line at 1-888-316-0762 or you can drop us a letter at, at p.o box 16639 Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Also, don't forget, if you want to come join us in the studio audience, the tickets are free, and you can get those online. If you would go to www.shawnawhitehead.com and click on the contact link, fill out the information, and we'll send those tickets out. You can also tune in to us every Friday at 4 p.m. at www.shawnawhitehead.com or www.walkinginyourdestinychristiantalkshow.com. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Walking in Your Destiny page and Twitter at WIYD Today. Amen. And thank you for, again, Pastor Melvin Henderson for coming out, being with us. And also, Pastor Melvin Henderson has wonderful um, books and CDs here that you guys can buy. Also, the Check Out the Daily Manor um, book is awesome. She also has another book coming out real soon. So we want to support Pastor Melvin Henderson. She Amen. is truly doing God's work. Amen. And we she thank is. God. We thank God. Praise God for you. Amen. And your ministry. Amen. And your husband, too. Amen. Amen. So, we God also have a special God guest God coming that's here in our studio audience. Voices of the Wilderness. Voices, Amen. Voices Amen. in the Wilderness. Gospel recording arts. Amen. Give it up. They're going to be doing a new hit single. So, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Please do not go anywhere. Next week on Walking in Your Destiny, Sean and Tammy will be joined by Catherine Richard. My baby brother, Tony Anthony Lee Sears Free, was um, a victim of Jeffrey Dahmer. My brother had been missing for three years. In the midst of that time that my brother was missing, um, that first six months, Jeffrey was calling me and I didn't even know it. So I called my nephew. I said, somebody is at Tony's house. Some connect on three way. We called back together. We let the phone ring for an hour straight. Jeffrey picked the phone up. Didn't I tell you not to call back here no more? You will never ever see your brother again. Wow. Not knowing. But I heard the Lord say, tell the family yeah. to forgive you. Yeah. And I said, no, this ain't God talking. This is either my mind playing games with me or it's the devil. My mother wanted to go and talk to Jeffrey. She said, I just want to ask him why. She said, when she came back, she told us that Jeffrey told her, your son was special to me. He told my mother, he said, for lunch, I ate his cake. Next week's musical guest will be gospel recording artist Daytona Rhodes of God's Child Entertainment. Thank you for tuning back in to Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show. And yes, here we have a special guest, but before um, Tammy introduced them, we want to just um, show you how you can get their CD. It's called Voices in the Wilderness. We need you guys to support them. 
Today, um, Voices in the Wilderness is a newly emerging genre of Christian artists. Their music is a uniquely blended mixture of traditional, contemporary gospel, Christian R&B, and pop styles rooted in a acapella harmonies. They are also yes. a uniquely blended group of singers whose ages range from early 30s and beyond. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> this is our first single, Only God Knows. Amen. And, um, we, we, we put it out, we was going through so many things in our life at the time and talking about forgiveness. I know about forgiveness. I was a foster child and I, yeah. I know about a lot of stuff about that forgiveness, mm. you know, but, but only God knows ministers Amen. to so many areas of your life, your marriage, things you go through, people turn the back on yeah. you and, and just, we just want to reach out Amen. And, Lord, and, and allow God to change lives Amen. through us. Amen. 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 So they're going to take us on out the show. And we look forward to hearing you guys minister to my favorite song. Amen. Praise the Lord. Your voice is in the wilderness. And we come to tell us God well about a living Savior. We want you to know this. What have you going through? God knows. Come on, boys. He really. My pains and my suffering Deep inside The deepest thoughts of my mind Oh yeah You know what? And he lived with my spirit With so much joy unspeakable Somebody out there feel like giving up on life, contemplating suicide. Don't give up, don't throw in the towel because God knows and He cares. Oh, yeah, yeah. That person you feeling like you all alone, you're not all alone. I know when you were up, you had so many so called friends around, but when you came down, nobody could be found. Well, we come to tell you that we serve a God that said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He said, I'll be with you till the end. You might be worried about that child that didn't come home last night or last week. Don't give up on them. Give them to Jesus. Oh, we serve a God that knows all and sees all. And he said, suffer not the little children to come unto me and that means your child too. 
no matter what age they are now. Married couples, now this is for you. Yes. Now I know you might feel like giving up on each other, divorcing, finances going crazy, children going off. Don't give up. That's what Satan wants you to do. But God said in his word that he ready that he reconcile. Now Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he really wants to destroy the marriage. Yes, your marriage, because marriage represents the church. Of your marriage, let the Holy Ghost be the super glue. He really knows, he really knows.